now we deal with uh, the concluding part of uh, our escapade with meta ethics, uh, facing the question as we see on the slide, why be moral. Now, the very question that why should one be moral, is a deep question and is in fact, perhaps the root of all meta ethical questions. Now, let us uh, explore. In fact, uh, uh, today's uh, lecture is more of a thought exercise for you. This is a question of uh, reflection and uh, deeper analysis as to why should one be moral. Now, assuming that most of us uh, would seriously answer that we would like to be moral or what ought to be moral. What is the justification of morality? Why should one be moral? That is the fundamental question of meta ethics that uh, is uh, sought to be answered when we try to clarify the meta ethical foundations of any ethical theory. Well, uh, applied ethics talked about particular questions. It talks about questions like, uh, should I let my aging parents uh, live with me and share my resources with them. Moral theory, uh, which is a layer beneath applied ethics talks about, uh, well, uh, is, is uh, utilitarianism a better theory or over uh, deontological theories. That well, if uh, uh, the happiness of uh, the greater number is being promoted by a certain decision, that should be taken. Now, beneath these two layers is the meta ethical claim, that well, what is it to be moral? And we, we uh, explored various answers that uh, explaining uh, morality. And then, the final question that we are left with, is that even if there is something called morality, or if there is something called morality, why should one be moral? Now, let us look closely at the question. If I say, why be moral? It can roughly be translated into two que uh, questions. It is, why should I be moral? And the second question is, why should people be moral? Now, this is seeking my justification. to myself, for being moral, or for trying to be moral. This, on the other hand, is well, seeks a justification, for the institution of morality. So, basically these, uh, the same question can be divided into two parts. Why should people be moral, and why should I be moral? As an individual, I might have reasons to be moral, but uh, why should morality be practiced? What could, uh, why should one, or the, uh, the institution of morality be promoted? Now, let us think that, well, what are the justifications? What are the justifications for my being moral, or what are the justifications for being uh, for promoting this institution of morality. Let us, let us uh, serial number these two questions, so that it uh, gives us, let us this call, let us call this as question A, and let us call this as question B. Now, the answer to A and B need not be the same. If uh, 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 my reasons for being moral, or I may have no reasons or justifications for being moral, but I may expect that the institution of morality continue for me to profit from it. So, the deeper, perhaps more foundational question is, why should people be moral, uh, or why should the institution of morality be propagated. So, those of you, uh, mischievous of us, who would uh, uh, perhaps uh, answer this question A in the negative, that well, I should not be moral, but as long as there are others, uh, uh, who are moral, or there are, uh, the institution of morality is propagated, uh, then there is an advantage in me, not to be moral. So, uh, a lot of questions being opened up. Let us tackle these questions, uh, serially. And these are uh, um, answers uh, proposed 
to these questions and uh, you are invited to grapple with these questions on your own and as an assignment to answer this question why be moral because it's a, this is a question that has even been answered by plato that has been answered by generations to come and uh, uh, that has been answered by generations that have come and will perhaps be tackled by generations that come so one has to reflect and delve into one's own uh, uh, theoretical foundations or psyche to understand or to explain a, 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 a given answer to this question because this question um, answered by you would reveal your theoretical framework or foundation to yourself now let's say for a moment if we do not take uh, 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 we club this question together and we say well why should i be moral now let's think some of the reasons well first uh, being moral is profitable now many of us would perhaps agree or disagree that well being moral may not be as profitable as we would like to think it is so um, uh, being moral doesn't always lead to profit being moral so in fact this couldn't wouldn't be a second answer to the question rather it would be a first uh, answer continued that well being moral is to confirm to the expectations from us. So, as long as we are moral, when the society, the collective, the family has certain expectations from us and if uh, to confirm to those expectations, there is a kind of a pressure and uh, these expectations are moral expectations and the pressure from us is to confirm to it. So, we confirm to it to be a conformist as they say. Being moral because my parents, religion, tradition or any such entity says so and that I would be rewarded I would be eventually rewarded for the same. Now, being moral because my parents, my religion, my tradition says so and that I would be eventually rewarded for the same. Now, this is and or punished for not doing so. Now, notice here, now all these three questions are, uh, all these three answers suggested are the variant of one of perhaps the same uh, ethos of the answer, which is that uh, uh, being, being moral is being profitable, is being uh, uh, smart, is being wise, because well, uh, to the conformist, well it is confirming to tradition, it is confirming to the expectations that the collective has, that the family has. So, uh, by confirming my life becomes easier. So, therefore, I should uh, be moral. The second option could be well, uh, as we said that well, uh, being uh, uh, moral is uh, confirming to one's religion and is following the dictates of one's religion or one's tradition or one's parents with the impression that well, following uh, 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 or being moral or following moral uh, dictates is uh, would get you rewards eventually, may not be immediately, may be eventually in this life or uh, proposed after life and not doing so would get you punishment. So, this is another customary level of morality, where we talk about uh, 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 the justification of morality coming from the rewards it brings along or the fear of the punishment that it brings along. Now, apart from this, can there be any other justification of morality? Before pro proceeding further, I would urge uh, the viewers to reflect uh, sharply on their own uh, uh, 
to find out to explore whether there can be any other justification of morality. You are welcome to uh, uh, explore or uh, uh, deeply delve into any other justification of morality. And if you would like, please do uh, email me your uh, the answers that you propose. Uh, well, there can be another justification of morality because essentially now what if you'll take a look at these slides, these justifications essentially are non-moral justifications. Now, if I say that, well, if I look for, well, I am, uh, or as, as let us answer in the same strain, that being moral, is simply the right thing to do. There can be, or a more accurately, to ask for a reason for being moral, is to ask for a non-moral justification. That is, reducing the moral domain or more accurately explaining the moral domain in terms of the non moral domain. So, uh, this is the uh, what I would propose as the second answer uh, to the question that well uh, if if I uh, the very fact that we when we ask the question why be moral is perhaps looking for a non moral uh, justification for the same the question itself hides in it a prejudice or a bias towards a, a, a naturalistic understanding that well one ought to be moral, because simply it is the right thing to do. It is uh, uh, like this, that when we engage in a uh, debate, we are engaging with a uh, assumption, that a rational resolution to the debate is possible. If I do not believe in the tenets of rationality, or a resolution possibility, a possibility of a resolution, then my engaging in a debate is meaningless. Let us uh, 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 just quickly take a write it down to, suppose I engage in a debate, this assumes a resolution is possible. and means of reasoning or argument or logic or rationality is agreed upon by the debating teams. These assumptions, one engages in a debate, having these assumptions, would mean that well, we can hope, or we can, uh, a resolution is possible, right. Conclusion may emerge 
and the entire plethora is a rational exercise. Now, if I get into a debate, either questioning that well a resolution is not possible, that uh, uh, logic or uh, rationality, the uh, means of rationality and logic and argument, the standard uh, axioms and principles of logic are uh, also variable, then there is no point in engaging my debate. So, if I question the assumptions, then the exercise becomes futile. So, likewise when I look for a, when I ask the question, why be moral, am I undermining morality? Well, the answer is, well just the way, just as rationality is binding by itself, so is morality justifying itself. So, the uh, second answer that we are, uh, uh, offered that well, uh, if, if we, we, uh, we, we need not seek further justification for the right thing to do, because uh, as the adage goes that well, a man has got to do what a man has got to do. That is the kind of a justification also offered for morality, that well what has to be done, has to be done. That uh, doing the right thing can have no other reason except that it is the right thing to do. Now, let us look at it this way. If uh, uh, we are in a dilemma and uh, uh, from whatever metaethical foundation we have and whatever moral theory we practice, we arrive at something what we consider right. Now, the justification for doing that right thing according to this second kind of answer that we just talked about is that well, it has to be done, because it has to be done. Now, uh, in a way this is a non-consequentialist answer. In fact, this is uh, uh, in a way uh, 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 a resolution, uh, where doing the right thing is more important than anything else. Now, look at it this way. We can now, uh, let us think of an example, uh, where this would perhaps find lot of uh, uh, utility. Now, let us say that if we have to uh, uh, unjustly trample over the rights of an uh, individual to uh, uh, get the job done. If it is wrong, it is wrong and it should not be done no matter what. Now, uh, this kind of a justification, let us put a further a concrete example to this. Let us say there is an examination conducted with a lot of an entrance examination and one uh, student was given a misprinted faulty question paper, uh, uh, which uh, to the best of his ability he checked and the question or the digits were somehow printed wrong, uh, an error that he could not have spotted by himself, unless he had access to another question paper. So, clearly this student has been wronged, that uh, the examination can, uh, has been unfair to him. But now, if the resolution is to conduct the whole examination once more, or uh, to give him a separate examination, or to bring this, uh, uh, let this matter out uh, uh, in the notice of the public gaze, uh, harms the examination. So, if this matter is suppressed, the efficiency of the examination remains, nobody is uh, uh, disadvantaged. and lost. See, there can be very, very many variants of this example. Say, the answer script of a uh, student is lost, and uh, it is simply not accounted, and he or she is uh, regarded as uh, not qualified. Now, this is an example, where the right thing uh, clearly is to uh, um, accept uh, the error on the part of uh, um, the examination authority, and make a resolution of it possible. Uh, whatever is possible, maybe conduct the whole examination again, maybe 
uh, hold a separate examination for uh, uh, the wronged person or whatever the laws be. So, here the justification for the right thing to do is not that it would bring about the greatest happiness of the greatest number, because in clearly in this case it would not bring about the greatest happiness of the greatest number. So, uh, the justification for doing the right thing here is, because it is the right thing to do, because it is the fair thing to do. And here, fairness and rightness cannot be understood in terms of any other psychological or natural property. These are fundamental uh, qualities or uh, properties, without any further reduction or explanation possible in terms of uh, other uh, natural properties. Now, let us go to the original question that we talked about, that well, the uh, question B, that why should people be mortal, or the justification of the institution of morality, why not as uh, many philosophers have regarded as the fundamental question of ethics, that why not I appear to be moral, to the collective or the rest of us, and covertly thereof, work as per my desires. So, what essentially it is, why not just appear moral? Is not there a deeper uh, justification for the same? Now, uh, a very common thing that we can associate with the stories we read, the uh, news that we come across, the movies we watch, that well, in a standard plot of a movie the bad guy wants to appear moral, because appearing moral gives you a lot of advantages. Let us say, when he is framed as the politician, or the businessman, or the powerful uh, uh, tycoon, they want to be seen as moral by the people at large. They invest huge amounts, or hu huge resources in uh, uh, what they would call as public relations, thereof to make their enterprise, or themselves known as uh, morally sound persons. But, this is an appearance, and they would uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, work towards their own, uh, the, the, towards the fulfillment of their own desires. This is a very simple plot, which is perhaps seen everywhere. But, this is uh, uh, a very foundational ethical question, that why should one be moral, and why should uh, one not appear to be moral, whereas gaining from the morality of others. The notion of free riders, that well, uh, in a community of truth speakers, if I am a liar, I can get a lot of advantage. But, in a community of liars, being a liar gives me no particular advantage. So, somewhere uh, uh, the moral uh, uh, platform has to exist, for the free rider to benefit. Because, if, if the moral platform does not exist, then there, there is no free rider possible. So, this kind of a justification of morality, that well, well there has to be uh, the common adage, that uh, a majority of the people um, are law governed, and rule governed, then it is that minority of rule breakers, or law breakers that uh, get an advantage. But, if all collapses, then well, the rule breaker breakers, or the former rule breakers are as disadvantaged as anybody else. So, uh, the fundamental question that arises is that, well, why should one really be moral, instead of appearing to be moral. 
So, that means an internal intrinsic justification of uh, morality that uh, does not uh, uh, tackle uh, any any uh, non moral component. Okay, let us let us uh, uh, take a little flashback and let us think of uh, 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 let, uh, let, let me uh, many of you must have heard of this uh, time when we uh, uh, of these earlier philosophers called uh, Rousseau and Hobbes. Now, before I talk about these uh, uh, philosophers, let us put a fundamental question, uh, a question that uh, uh, let us think for oneself. Let us say for a day, law enforcement, policemen are taken off the streets. What would people at large do? Let us say at the time of natural calamities, at the time of riots, at the time of uh, uh, civil disobedience, at the time of uh, internal strife, when law enforcement ceases to exist. What would people do? Now, the answer to this question will largely determine, what is our uh, our, our uh, intuition or what is our uh, opinion of the fu uh, fundamental human nature. Now, if, if uh, uh, I see that, well if I, if I uh, propose, if I um, assume that well, the fundamental human nature is good, that uh, when law enforcement is pulled off the streets, uh, we find that well. Initially, there may be a lot of chaos, but eventually people will start perhaps helping each other and the majority of people would be uh, moral as to say. Now, this uh, brings us to um, these two philosophers, Rousseau and Hobbes that we talked about. Now, Rousseau said that well, uh, Hobbes was of the opinion, okay. Uh, let me briefly put, Hobbes was the opinion that well, life in state of nature, state of nature meaning without society, was nasty, uh, poor, uh, brutish and short, right. So, state of nature, here it is nasty, but Rousseau on the other hand, well, proposes theory that we call an enter into contract. Well, we need not uh, go about the details of these two philosophers, but what we need to say is that well, Rousseau says that well, uh, society as an institution comes as a uh, pact between the individuals to form a society, where there would be regulations, voluntarily imposed and accepted and followed regulations, enforced regulations for the betterment of all. So, uh, in the uh, uh, say a time of natural calamity or riot. Now, if uh, um, a group of uh, people living together, come into a uh, contract, that well each one of us would not harm the other, and we would protect each other from any other uh, external uh, aggression. If, uh, because the law, law enforcement at that time does not, uh, uh, would not be able to do so. And this is the formation of the society that well, there is nothing intrinsically perhaps right or wrong, and but for each one of us to pursue our desires, we need a minimum platform of uh, security, and that security would be provided by the social contract, as Rousseau has talked about. It is popularly, for any of you interested to know more, can search this term, social contract to get further details of Rousseau's theory. So, now, let us, uh, uh, um, so Rousseau is another way, another, uh, uh, the uh, Rousseau society is another justification of morality, where he says that well, uh, what one does, uh, or, or the formation of morality or society is, to restrain uh, each one of us equally. So, that uh, all of us can have m moderately uh, fulfill uh, most of our wishes, instead of relieving it as a total free reign. So, this is another example of uh, uh, morality as a social construct, as um, analogically speaking that well, uh, when we all come to play a game, we follow by common rules, so that all of us can enjoy the game. 
because winning does not mean that we are allowed to break the rules, because that would take the fun out of the game, and that would perhaps make it uh, uh, brutal, and uh, equally insecure for all. So, uh, to bring a level of security. Now, this would perhaps be the prevalent, uh, uh, many of us would uh, uh, follow this, as, as the foundation of uh, uh, meta ethics, that uh, the reason for being moral, is to get one's own one's own uh, security, to act further. So, with this, I, I uh, leave um, the question uh, to you, that well, why should be one be moral, or why should morality be uh, propagated. This is uh, a justification, that has been sought. Why has, does morality have to be followed, because it is enforced, or is it binding uh, onto us, just as the way rationality is. Uh, the way we say that, well, if, if there are uh, uh, three oranges with me, I can always take two oranges out from them. I cannot take four oranges out from them. Now, just as this taking four oranges out of three oranges, is absurd to us, does morality have the same kind of binding? That well, uh, do, uh, do, uh, knowing the right thing, and doing the right thing, is compelling onto us similarly. So, there have been all, all moral theories proposed, and systems built, have been answered to this fundamental question. That well, why should one be moral, and why should the institution of morality be uh, prom uh, promulgated, or propagated. Now, this is a question I leave you with, to reflect, and think for yourself. That what is your justification of morality, that you come up with.